There are multiple reasons why you might see your internet connection limited or no internet access or even when you have uh, an identified network or unable to log into your internet which appears usually as a yellow triangle next to your Wi-Fi signal. So what you will have to understand that one of the reasons is that you have incorrect settings when it comes to the static IP address and we will see that uh, your router might not be functioning correctly and a reset might be required to solve the problem also there are some driver missing or some drivers outdated if for example you didn't do the updates correctly or you didn't do the updates uh, regularly or you just upgraded to Windows 10 or Windows 7 or did a fresh install but you forgot to install the drivers for the network the most updated one and also one of the reasons might be that there is there are too many people connected to the same network and your router cannot assign a new IP addresses to everyone so let's go and discover the first solution which is setting up a correct static IP address uh, to see if this will solve the problem with your network so we will go to control panel and from the control panel if you have a small icon view or large icons view you will have to change the category so that you can follow with this video and from here we will click on network and internet we will go to network and sharing center and we'll click on our Wi-Fi this is my wireless or my Wi-Fi and I just open this panel I will click on the properties and from here I will select the internet protocol TCP IPv4 by just clicking it opened so here here if you find that you had this option selected use the following IP address I suggest to you to click obtain an IP address automatically and then you click also obtain DNS server automatically if you have these two options and then you click OK as soon as you click close this should solve the issue for you if this doesn't solve the issue then you can go back to properties again you select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and you click on properties and here we will use the, uh, the following IP address so usually the IP address it comes as the following format so usually your IPv4 address comes under four sections of numbers so the first three digits is 192 168 and then it comes as 8.1 or 8.121 etc so this is how it appears your subnet mask usually comes as 255.255.255.0 and your default getaway or gateway the three first digits are exactly matching so as you can see 192 192 168 168 here I have personally 88 and the last digit here here it was 102 but in the default getaway you have to select one so make sure to check under your router if there is any paper there where your IPv address is written or you can just go to CMD you go to search up you type CMD you open this command prompt and you will type ipconfig everything lowercase and then you type enter or you press enter and as you can see here, here I have my IP address, IPv address 192.168. So this is my IPv address. So I will just set it up correctly. So let's copy these details and let's make just small modifications so that it match. So here, so here use the following IP address, 192.168, and I will have to make sure that I entered the third digit or the worth the digit section 8 and then I will go to the next one and here you can enter 99 you you can use a different number I will just select number 10 so that it doesn't give me any errors here subnet mask as soon as you click it will automatically appear for you I will leave these numbers like this because they consider they they below they belong to a certain settings the next one is a default gateway or get away I will just set it up 192 again 168 and the third section of digit has also to match which is 8 and in the last section 
or the last digit section I will put just number one that's from my side from the second side or the second part when it comes to the DNS server addresses I would suggest to you guys to do some research on DNS server addresses open you might find different numbers you can go to your phone and open your browser on the phone for example and you can just type use open open DNS and as you can see here we have the first result so we can open the first one use.opendns.com so and even the second one is a setup guide which might help you if this solution doesn't solve your problem so here we'll go just to the first result so here we can for example use if we have Windows 7 let's check for Windows 7 there we go so here for example for Windows 7 we can use as a DNS server address 208.67.222.222 and in the second line we will use 208.67.220.220 so as you can see the last two digit sections has been changed from 2 the last number to 0 so you can either use this one or I prefer personally to use the default one which is 4 4 4 4 and the second line I will use 4 4 and I will change the two last numbers 8 8 like the previous one it is just I use just one number for each section I will select validate settings upon exit I will click OK I will close and I will again click close Windows will run a troubleshoot detecting problems and trying to solve them but as you can see I am already connected and this have solved my problem I will just click cancel and I will click close the browser and the problem was solved with this solution